Um, I have invested in real estate, in stocks, and in mutual funds. I have a few FTS, um, but majority of my investments have been in mutual funds. Uh, I usually invest in mutual funds mostly, and I also do a little bit of stock investing. Sips and mutual funds. As long as it's green, I guess uh, I will be confident. I think I'll be worried if it's in red. I have to say I'm fairly confident because just recently I rebalanced my portfolio. I'm not really sure. Very confident, but at the same time, I'm very curious to see what the Wealth Monitor app has to say. Okay. Wow, I didn't know there was another way to review. A portfolio. It it's actually saying that two funds I should exit. Uh, actually, five funds out of which two I should always avoid, and three have a bleak future. It says there is about twenty one funds. That's in the always avoid category. Quite shocking. Couple of my funds have been in bleak future, as expected. The focus fund that I was talking about is actually in the bleak future category. That came as a surprise. More than half of my portfolio value is under the exit category. I would say overall pretty good. Um, I think now there is an app which you know gives a complete detailed review of your portfolio. To be honest, I was actually quite surprised. To see, especially to see that focus fund in the bleak future category. All those people who are seriously into mutual fund investing should actually consider reviewing their portfolios. And I think Wealth Monitor makes it very easy for that. The best part about this is how straightforward this review was. I mean, if I really need to fix my portfolio, all I need to do is. Open the wealth monitor.